Hey guys, what's up? I usually don't do a lot of talking ones, but uh, today I'm going to do it because yesterday was Christmas and basically all I got was WWE stuff, so I'm fine with that though. I'm fine with that. Um, this is what I really wanted. Uh, tribute to the Troop shirt. I've wanted it for a really long time and I'm really happy that I got it. Alright. Probably the thing that I'm most proud about in getting is this right here. The ECW Championship. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. This is heavy. Alright? Very heavy. Um, I don't have the case with me right now, but of course it does come with an ECW case. And, yep. So, that's the ECW title. You can see it's just a great title. Um, How about... Show you all the shirts that I got. I got like a lot of shirts. This is one of them, of course. Um, now my favorite shirt that I got. Period. Just give me one second. Like my favorite WWE shirt of all time. Uh, this is the front of it. Hold on. WWE top rope is the shit. All right. They're 45 bucks for the t-shirts, but I'll tell you something right now. It's definitely worth it. I mean, I've been pissed off with WWE shirts for the longest time because of that gay authentic patch. This does not have it. They make cool shit out of real wrestler shirts. And look, it's like, you know, those Affliction shirts. They got like the rips at the bottom and everything. It's a really sick shirt. If you have a chance... Go to WWEshop.com and check out Top Rope where it's the best shirts. You have no idea. Alright. Let's see what shirts I got. I got this Orton shirt, which is pretty cool because uh, this is basically the reason why I wanted it. I mean, I love Orton, but this is kind of the reason why I wanted it because of the legacy patch on the side. I thought that was pretty cool. And you got the RKO on the back. I was very close to buying this when I went to Hell in a Cell, but I decided not to pick that one up. I went with, uh, what shirt did I buy there? I bought a Legacy shirt, the other Legacy shirt, and a Batista shirt. Now this, another one that I almost bought at Hell in a Cell. There was a couple choices there. Um, This is a sick shirt. I mean, come on. You can't go wrong with this. You just got... DX shirt, probably the best DX shirt ever. Besides the one where they're showing their asses, but uh, the only problem is this one's like huge on me. So I'm gonna like try and shrink it in the washing machine, but see this? My favorite wrestler right here, CM Punk. Got that thing on the back, it's cool. What I got was the new orange Never Give Up Cena t shirt. Huge, you can't see me on the back and on the side. It's this new gay sign. No, but I don't know what this is, but it's pretty gay. Whatever happened to this, you know? It's, it's fucking retarded. Um, let's see. Thought this shirt, when I first saw it, I was like, ah, that shirt's gay. Now that I actually own it, I'm like, alright, shirt's cool, man. There you go. A Christian t-shirt. So don't think that shirt's gay. I thought it was. I thought it was majorly gay. <laughs> but now I have it. And it's good. This is a fucking shit. This shirt right here. Lay it the smack down. On your candy ass. The fact that a t-shirt says candy ass. You just can't go wrong. I'm sorry, but you just can't. Alright, um, I think that's about it for t-shirts. Another thing that I got, I don't know why I got this, but I just kind of did. Somebody bought it for me. I got the Randy Orton gas mask blanket. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty fucking comfortable, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> My aunt bought me WWE Kids Magazine. You know, I thought they were gay. Same thing, I thought they were pretty gay. There's some fun ass games in there if you are like really in love with WWE. Which I am. Um This 
is awesome. All right, you got everything, but a little bit of bullshit in between. If I must say, they go to their modern WWE bullshit type of thing. I mean, they cut out so many great SmackDown moments, like simply because Chris Benoit's not around and they couldn't use any of his footage. So, yeah. Um, also, I got these. I don't know if you could really see that, but they're CM Punk basketball shorts. Didn't know they made those, but hey, it works, right? Uh, of course I had to buy this because I was there. So, of course somebody got me that. Sick. Great pay-per-view. I was at it. It's in Newark, New Jersey. It was probably... One of the best shows I've ever been to, besides this one show that I went to at uh, the Garden where I sat front row and got high fives from everybody, even caught Jeff Hardy's shirt. Um, there's a couple more wrestling things around here. It's kind of scattered about. Um, you know what? There's actually something hanging off my wall that I can show you guys. Take a look at that. That's the legacy poster up there. Cutting that up as soon as I got that. Um, um, let's see, what else did I get? That might. There we go. The most retarded gift among of them all, but I still love it. Carlito wig. Why? Because Carlito's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, and now I have his hair. Don't know why, but I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Um, I think that about wraps it up. But now, with that ECW title, I have every single title belt except for the Unified Tag Team titles for my birthday, right? My birthday's in February. I can deal with that. I, I can wait. I can wait. Um, but yeah. So that's all the wrestling stuff that I got. Thanks, guys.